we need more elite and stuff? I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I just. No one's going to watch this. I... What is monkey pudding face? A man with a plan to destroy the human race. Not really. You guys have more cats playing show. Yeah, there's a lot of things I miss and I know you miss and I mean man I just I miss playing shows for people I miss doing it live like in front of people I too miss playing shows in front of people yeah uh, for sound guys and audio engineers yeah audio engineers I miss the preparation or the pre-production and the planning for a show, uh, like getting uh, email blasts from promoters, air quotes, sure. um, where they list out a bunch of different dates for 15 different venues with a bunch of different time slots listed uh, for you know venues that no one's ever heard of that are nowhere near any form of public transportation uh, and you have no idea what other bands may be playing uh, before you confirm a date or a time. And you very likely won't know who those bands are until the day you walk into the show. That's very true. But sometimes we do, we do, we have gotten to know what bands we're going to play with ahead of time. And um, I mean, there's no greater joy than checking out those bands ahead of time and being blown away by the artistry and the spectacle yeah, uh, that we know we're in for when we show up to the gig. Yeah. And um, I mean, nine times out of 10, they exceed our expectations in putting on a marvelous rock show. Yeah. I'm, I'm amazed at the volume of people that can put such a unique spin on the music of their parents. True, true. Yeah, yeah. You know, one of the things I really miss is, is interacting with uh, those other bands that we play shows with. Um, and by interacting, I mean usually things uh, like the other band asking us, um, hey, can I borrow your tuner? Or, uh, hey, can I uh, can I borrow your whole drum set? Your guitar, stuff like that, right? Can we borrow all your stuff? Yeah, yeah. I mean, totally like reasonable questions. Um, yeah, can you stick around like three hours later than you need to, so that I can use your pedal or your guitar strap or whatever it is. Um, and I mean, we, we are always, um, super supportive of other bands as much as we can. We try yeah. and show up early. Right. And we always stuck around as late as, as we reasonably could. I mean, we can't, couldn't do it every time. Sometimes Candiria was playing a show. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you that are not a member of the band Monkey Pudding Face, we once booked a show the same evening that Candiria was performing at a different venue. After we completed our set and we were loading up our vehicle to drive to said show, a band member that was performing after us asked if we were sticking around. I proceeded to say yes, then drove away. I am a jerk. But honestly, in some ways for me, it was like a free show because yeah, yeah. we're playing, but then we also get to see these other bands for free ish yeah i think and it was I, free for everybody I, like no money was exchanging hands at right all exactly yeah. shows. you got it yeah it was great it was a, a a great way to see capitalism and our you know commerce in action or or you know a different way where like sure. you're just exchanging tickets mm -hmm. you know for beverages 
There's no, no money. It was kind of like Burning Man, like trade-based. Yeah. Gifting, gifting culture. Gifting but it was also sort of like a, a free market kind of situation too, where people really got to be competitive in their pricing of zero dollars, essentially. <laughs> um, but I guess it was really the what sort of value you were providing for that zero dollars. Right. Um, so, yeah. I mean, we we did discover some amazing artists by playing shows with them. That's true. Hailcon. Yeah, we should give a shout out to... For example, yeah. yeah. I, I just did give a shout out to Hailcon. Yes. Uh, and um, I'll do it again. Elemental Canyon. Hailcon, yeah. Yeah. And don't forget Hailcon. Uh, yeah, that alone is worth every show. Yeah. And band that wasn't in Hailcon. Yes. Uh, so. I'll let up to that was basically the peak of our co performing experiences. Exactly. say it's over it's really over when you say it's over it's over